These are the many faces of neurofibromatosis. All ages, all races, both genders. Diverse backgrounds, different locations, a wide range of family situations. Some with outward manifestations, some without. But all of these individuals have one thing in common. The determination to live life to its fullest, despite the burdens of an illness that can cause a range of physical and emotional turmoil. Blindness, deafness, malignancies, disfigurement, learning disabilities, loss of limbs, and although rarely, even death. By having an F, it changed my life a lot. But in some ways, I wouldn't want not to have an F because my life wouldn't be what it is today. I'm just a normal kid, not thinking about most stuff. I'm just doing I, what I usually would do in my life because I don't really let the tumor get into my mind too much because then I get like all worried about nothing and then I just get keep getting the dreaded what ifs in my head. I don't have a choice in whether or not I have it. It's just something I've got and it's something I accept I have. Historical records and literature dating back to ancient Greece show evidence of neurofibromatosis. But it wasn't until 1882 that a German scientist, Dr. Friedrich von Recklinghausen, first correctly identified the commingling of nerve cells and fibrous tissue that cause multiple neurofibromas. More recently, research has led to the discovery of two distinct forms of neurofibromatosis, NF1 and NF2. NF1 is actually a relatively common disorder. The incidence is about 1 in 3,000. NF2 is much less common. The incidence is approximately 1 in 50,000. NF1 is a disorder which is localized to a problem on chromosome 17. It is characterized by a lot of skin lesions, cafe lay spots, dermal neurofibromas, and relatively uncommon internal lesions. NF2 is a disorder which is localized to chromosome 22, which is characterized by m multiple brain and spinal cord tumors and relatively little in, on the skin. Most people with NF have a very mild and hardly noticeable form of the disorder, often no more than a few brown spots on the skin. For some, however, NF causes more serious problems, small multiple tumors on the skin, large tumors on an arm or leg, facial disfigurement, and for some, internal tumors along the nerves anywhere inside the body or brain. NF1 and 2 are considered to be autosomal dominant disorders and as such are typically inherited from a parent, though in both the incidence of so-called spontaneous mutation or a sporadic case occurring uh, is actually quite high. About 50% of the cases are sporadic. NF was thought to be associated with the so-called elephant man, but we now know that the person who was known at the, as the elephant man actually had a rare syndrome which is totally unrelated to NF and is called the Proteus syndrome. According to the National Institutes of Health, a diagnosis of NF1 is appropriate when two or more of the following features are present. Six or more cafe au lait spots in adults or six or more cafe au lait spots in children, two or more neurofibromas or one plexiform neurofibroma, freckling under the arms or in the groin area, optic glioma, Lish nodules, bone abnormalities, affected parent, sibling, or child. A diagnosis of NF2 is appropriate when two or more of the following features are present. Bilateral acoustic neuromas, or affected parent, sibling, or child, and any one of the following. Neurofibroma, schwannoma, glioma, meningioma, cataracts. Neurofibromatosis poses two challenges in daily medical practice. One is realizing that a person actually is affected 
when their signs may be quite subtle. And it's very important not to overlook these signs, for example, cafe LA spots, as evidence that a person really has neurofibromatosis. But on the other hand, there also is a tendency sometimes to overstate the severity of neurofibromatosis to a family and to make it out to be more of a medical problem than sometimes it is. And so I think it's very important both to recognize the early signs of neurofibromatosis and also to put this condition in its perspective. Because NF can affect so many different parts of the body, an individual with NF can benefit most from a multidisciplinary approach to the disorder. Specialists in neurology, orthopedics, genetics, ophthalmology, dermatology, plastic surgery, neurosurgery, pediatrics, oral surgery, ENT, and oncology may all play a role in care and treatment.